What's up everybody, this is Frank with Frankly Collecting, and today we are looking at eBay sold listings for the MetaZoo playing cards Kickstarter. We're gonna be checking out the playing cards, all of the promos, and about the art prints, the uncut sheets, all of it. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the very first item we're gonna look at is the base product from this set. So you have the three playing card decks, one from Cryptid Nation, one from Nightfall, and one from Wilderness. Now, when I did my video showing my Headcaster tier box opening, it seemed like when I had just looked at eBay right before that opening, those sealed decks were going for between five and $10. And unless I was mistaken and maybe looking at uh, pre-order prices or something, it looks like these have picked up considerably. So most recent sale here you see for actually around $12. Now that is with free shipping. But if you look at some of the bundles, so this is a very common way that people are doling these out is having one of each deck and then the matching promos going for around $40, uh, maybe a little bit under. We have a best offer here. Uh, this one sold for $54.99 or best offer. But again, you're seeing some consistency around a little bit over $10. And this one actually had $5 shipping. So I had made a price prediction, you know, that it, uh, if the stars were aligned in MetaZoo's favor, these would be going between $10 and $20. Now, let me know if I'm missing something here, or maybe it's just that people are just getting these things in hand. And so the prices are super volatile and it's just gonna be kind of hard to find a really consistent price for these. Uh, but it does seem to me, just looking at them today, after making my last video, that there's been a little bit of a tick up for these sealed decks. And you're seeing kind of consistently that 10 to $20 per deck and maybe depending on whether or not it comes with one of those matching promos. Now, in my Headcaster opening, I had felt like that these were not gonna be super desirable out of all of the items in the Kickstarter packages. However, I have altered my opinion on that a little bit because as we're about to see with some of the single cards in these playing card decks, the hollow Mothmans, the, the various inks and other chase cards, I think will make people want to chase after them by going after the individual decks if these decks are as cheap as they are right now. I mean, they all have one hollow in them, so they can't really be weighed. And I believe that there is true randomization, so you don't have to worry about clumping and that kind of thing. So you could buy any one of these decks and potentially have a chance of getting one of the big chase cards, not have to worry about someone having mapped out all of their decks and that sort of thing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that does seem to be the case from what I've been looking at so far. Okay, so let's look at some of those chase hollows you can get from the playing card deck. So you can see here, obviously the inks are doing really well. I've got red ink, blue ink, and I didn't even know that there were some other inks they included in here. Like there's a green ink that I think you get from the wilderness deck. So you can see here, this one went for somewhere under $100. Um, best offer accepted, but I have been seeing the inks, this red ink especially, I saw a few auctions uh, go above $100, and actually the first one I saw sell was like for $20 or something, so uh, someone really did well getting that one um, early on, but a, a lot of those inks are really getting up there, at least a lot more than a lot of the other hollows that you can pull from the decks. You know, something like a ball lightning looks to be about the bottom. Um, so it looks to me like $5 seems to be about the cheapest these hollow cards are going for. So it doesn't really make sense for any sealed deck to be $5 or below that certainly because um, you could pretty much get anything and get at least $5. And I don't see why not, why you couldn't put that up for $4.99 and someone's not gonna pick that up at some point. Okay, so it looks like even some of the non-hollows are getting pretty decent prices when you consider, you know, you've got 52 cards in the deck. I mean, this uh, Wendigo non-hollow, King of Diamonds went for $2.99. So like $3 a card. I mean, granted that's, for the chase ones, right? Not for all of them. But if you're thinking about like at least a, a dollar a card, if you could get at least a dollar a card, then these playing decks should be $50, right? So yeah, you're probably not gonna get that, but maybe even a quarter or something. I don't know. We're so early on in this secondary product in the market, but I just feel like there is a lot more volatility ahead, uh, maybe both up and down. But check this out. So we have a green ink here that went for $51 an auction on the 22nd. It will be interesting to follow these hollow inks and see how they do, particularly over the long term. Here we have a Mothman Queen of Hearts hollow that went for about $100. And check this out, an Ace of Spades black ink that went for somewhere under $200 but I'd imagine that this one definitely is gonna hold a premium. I mean, it's the Ace of Spades. There's a reason that they gave it that designation in the playing card deck. And uh, this black ink, 
Again, I think there are going to be people who are going to be wanting to chase these inks and probably people who are going to want to get a set and collect all of the inks. So definitely worth chasing after, I think, with these playing cards being as cheap as they are. Now, as for the promos, the base promos that go along with each of the playing card decks, there are three of those. You have one for the Cryptid Nation, one for Nightfall, one for the Wilderness. Those seem to be bundled pretty often with the three decks being all together. So you can see here for about $38.99, you have one of each of the promos going with its respective deck. Now it almost seems to me like they're being kind of thrown in for free just to kind of help sell the bundle. Like here's an extra you'll get for buying this one. And buyers will see that as being, you know, better than just buying an individual deck and then having to chase after that basic promo on its own. And I would say as of right now, anyways, that seems pretty good for the buyer. I mean, these individual promos do seem to be going for right here, you can see $9.39. So I would say given the volatility in the market, it would be about five to $10 per promo card. So given the price of the decks and what you can pull from the decks, it kind of makes sense if a seller is willing to kind of give one of these away almost for free as a bonus for picking up the deck, that might be the way to go rather than to pick one up for five to $10 each. I would assume that anyone collecting these playing cards and who were not able to get in on the Kickstarter from the get-go will eventually want to have one of these base promos at some point. So I definitely don't see these as being stagnant cards among these products on the market. I think a lot of these will sell. They're not going to be super expensive, but I think personally, if I were a seller, I don't think I'd just be kind of giving them away in a bundle. I would try to be selling them individually, or if you're doing them in a bundle, at least add some kind of premium onto that. And I think most people will want to get at least one of each of them. Okay, so now to these promo boxes. These promo boxes have 10 one-card booster packs inside of them and you can get any of a various at arms promos and i think the most desirable ones of those are going to be the mothman to arms and the red ink to arms anyways i saw that these were selling very early on for around a hundred dollars and then have been quickly dropping you can see here the most recent sale that i have pulled up is a best offer accepted somewhere under around forty dollars and if we scroll down, you can kind of see that uh, they've been, of course, the price has been very volatile. So you've had them around $50, again, dropping down from around $100 down to around where it is now. Now, I'm not really exactly sure what to think about these promo boxes. I'm not sure about the supply of them. I got a headcaster tier, which is the highest tier, and I only got 10 boxes. So that's 100 one card booster packs. And I am not at this moment selling mine. But if you think about only the headcasters got 10 of them and then tiers below that got far fewer of those, I wonder, and this is just my speculation, if there's not a huge supply of these. Then again, I was not really super bullish on these from the get-go because I just felt like they are kind of like add-ons for this Kickstarter. I mean, the playing card decks are really the star of the show. And then you have um, like the Super Chase promos on top of that. You've got the poker chips, the uncut sheets. There's just a lot for these promo boxes to compete with. So I think it makes sense for these to be dipping down a little bit. I think people will eventually want to pick up these promos. I do think they are really cool. I think that uncut sheet of the at arms cards is especially awesome. But I think for now, we're just gonna have to wait and see just how much of this gets flushed out and how much uh, of a supply there is once that happens. Okay, so you're gonna have to help me out on this one because I am looking at the Headcaster promo and the Archcaster promo cards. Now the Archcaster promo is out of a thousand cards and the Headcaster promo, which is the one I have, is out of 250 and have not seen a sale yet, but there are several listed. I am seeing some prices dropping and there are a few on auction right now. So we're just gonna kind of take a look and speculate for the time being. But again, we are waiting for some solid sales prices. If I missed one, please do let me know down in the comments below. Now we have this Headcaster promo here. This is the lowest that I've seen it listed. They started being listed for around $1,000 and have been dropping. I think some sellers are racing to the bottom right now. And you see this one here at $599.99 with free shipping or best offer. And it has not yet sold. And I think it is because there is at least one that is up for auction right now. And I think people might be waiting to see what that one goes for in auction to try to get an idea of what the fair market price might be at this moment. So right here, you can see with four days left, we have a Headcaster promo at $152.50. 
and you have a, another one. This one ends in three days and is currently at $255. Okay, so I just noticed this one. This one actually ends in 10 hours and 37 minutes as of the making of this video. So go watch this one over on eBay and it'll be exciting to see what this one sells for. Currently it is at $399. And this one also includes the out of 250 gold poker chip and the standard red poker chip. So I'm really excited to see how this one goes and then how sales might pick up following this sale. As for the Archcaster out of a thousand, there is one currently listed for $307.87 out of France. So real quick for the art prints, and then we're gonna close off with the uncut sheets. The art prints in general seem to be going for around 50 to $150, just depending on the cryptid. And I think I saw some for under $50 for some of the like really basic cryptids. Now, I don't really see a lot of people speculating on these. I think maybe on like the Mothman's and any kind of inks and that kind of thing. But for the most part, I think people might want to pick these up for fun and just to hang them on their wall. I'm gonna be getting mine framed. Um, I got the few Follette and I'm happy with that one. And I think these are just gonna be one of those things that are really gonna be more about organic collectability and people just going after their favorite cryptid in art print form. Of course, there might be a little bit more speculation investment um, movement you see happening with like Mothman and such. Here you have, for example, a Piazza bird that went for $182.50, which is on the upper end. And then a Mothman recently sold for $301. All right, we're gonna close off with the uncut sheets here. Now, real quick note on the poker chips. I'm not gonna talk too much about the poker chips. I've seen some of the red ones and the silver ones sell. I saw one bundle of the red and the silver one go for under $50. I feel like uh, they probably deserve to be a little bit more and I haven't seen a sell of the gold one yet. So it'll just be kind of interesting to see how desirable the poker chips are um, as we move forward. So we're just gonna close off here with the uncut sheets. Now you can get an at-arms hollow promo uncut sheet, which I think is the most attractive in my opinion because of the color scheme on it. And then you can get an uncut sheet for Cryptid Nation, Nightfall, and the Wilderness playing cards. And they those do come in hollow and unhollow form. Obviously the hollow ones are carrying a premium to them. So you can see here, our most recent sale, we have $325 or best offer. So I think it could have been an offer that was sent out and then eBay is not sort of showing that very accurately. Uh, so it's kind of hard to say, but in general, this seems about right. We seem to be getting, you know, between 200 to 300 pushing after that for these hollow sheets for the Cryptid Nation, Nightfall and Wilderness uncut sheets. The non-hollow ones, you can get a pretty good deal on one if you just want one, you know, at the most inexpensive, you don't really care if it's hollow or unhollow. They look to be for going around that $100 range. Here you can see one of the um, promo hollow cards, uh, uncut sheets going for somewhere under $150, which I feel is too cheap. You know, I don't know the supply numbers on these uncut sheets, but I feel like they're really gonna be classics that people will want to frame and hang over the long term, kind of like the way people do with Pokemon uncut sheets and um, other TCG uncut sheets, which just fetch huge dollars right now. I think right now we're just kind of going through a period of uh, people kind of flushing out a lot of these who are maybe uncertain about it or need to raise capital for something else or just maybe don't really care about hanging something like this and are okay with letting it go. Again, uh, here are some that went for a little bit over $150. And again, this is my uh, favorite, just this at arms promo uncut sheet. I think the colors on it are just really beautiful and every single one of those are hollow. So that thing is gonna look really nice uh, framed and hung. And we'll end it here. So here's just another example. These are from September 25th. We have a hollow Cryptid Nation Wilderness uncut sheet that went for $208.49 in auction. And then we had a non-hollow one going for $99.99 with free shipping. So again, if you don't care about the hollow, you get a big discount if you just want any uncut sheet and you get the non-hollow one. And then it looks like a little bit over $200, maybe uh, $300 if that other sell was to be believed for the hollow versions. I feel like there's a lot more potential with these. Personally, I feel like uh, I'm I'm feeling very bullish on them for the long term. And I think just a lot are hitting the market at once right now, and some of them are being flushed out and uh, driving prices lower a little bit. But I really feel like these are one of the more standout items for this Kickstarter product. As for me personally, I will be getting mine framed and displaying them here in my office studio once they are finished. Okay, that does it for my current market analysis. 
on this MetaZoo Kickstarter playing cards product. I want you to tell me down in the comments below what is your favorite part of these playing card products. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the uncut sheets. And of course, I've got to love my head caster promo out of 250. But you tell me your favorite down below. Thanks for watching my video. Consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.